My son Keith has five children. He loved them a lot. They live in different states. Shakela and Keith then live here. And those are the two he kept with him all the time. I saw them on a daily basis until the weekend he was murdered. The day that the detectives met me at my home, first thing they said to me was, you do know Keith is dead. Whether I wanted to believe it or not, I had to say yes. They had found the person that had murdered him and they had him in custody. They felt that if they told me they brought him back in chains, that it would make me feel better. It did with a straight face I thanked them and everything and before I could close the door I just started screaming with the murder trial the person was convicted of the murder but they never did find my son's body it's hard enough but to lose a child and not know what their body is to know that He's somewhere where you don't want He's somewhere where someone broke him away. The fears of him not being here to take care of his children was great for me. My grandchildren's mothers had asked me about Social Security benefits for the children. And when they applied, they were told they needed the death certificate and since there was no body, the judge would not give that to me and neither would the coroners or the clerk. I know I needed to do this for my grandchildren because I could not financially support them. And the state's attorney's office gave me the phone number to reach out to the Minister Justice Office. AJ, they showed me love from the very first phone call. I had been talking to the young lady on the phone, letting her know what it is that I needed, and we both were crying. They immediately know that you're there because you need this help. They treat you like a, you're a human being. The compassion, the understanding, and the hugs. You get a lot of hugs. The trial was almost over, and they wanted to present everything for the death certificate, and they had to make sure it was okay with the judge mainly. And they jumped on it right away. It was wonderful. It was smooth and beautiful the way they did everything in court. Because as a mother, you're going to hang on to every ounce of everything. But once I received the death certificate, I cried a little more because that part had been taken care of. When you walk into AJ, what I see is they lead with God. And you can see that. You can hear that when you speak to them on the phone. I know how wonderful and how much passion is in that office and how much work goes into everyone because I would have never had the money to get a key staff certificate and I'm so grateful and blessed that AJ is in place.